Hello and welcome to Unlimited Adventures. My name is Ben. In this video, I wanted to help players develop a great backstory for their character in any Dungeons & Dragons game, and it's not as hard as it sounds. With a little bit of effort, you can make something amazing that you will remember going forward for all your years of gaming out of the simplest of character concepts. Okay, let's get into this. So, you have made a half-elf rogue, a thief with an urgent background. But how did they get to becoming an adventurer? What drives them to risk life and limb? Do you crave action? Did they want to make a better life for themselves? There are so many options. So let's start with the basics. What world did your DM set their campaign in? Is it something like a Forgotten Realms, Eberron, Dragonlance, or Ravenloft? There's so many wikis out there for references. There's also a slew of novels you can read, and they're very much worth the reading. If your DM is running in their homebrew world, ask them questions. Ask if it's okay to take some liberties with some things. This may help the DM flesh out some things out of their world that they had not thought of yet. Let's say your dungeon master is running in the Forgotten Realms, starting in the city of Waterdeep. Your character... Let's call them Devon Darkmoon. This character is an urchin, as you've chosen for your background. They grew up in the worst areas of Waterdeep. Winters in Waterdeep get very cold, as you found in your research when you went through the wiki. As a young child, she lived through this, losing her mother. You want to keep how her mother died vague. This gives your DM something to work with, something they can use to help fold you more into the story. Leaving the backstory vague like that, but yet having details, is a great thing for a dungeon master. Now, Devon's motivation for adventuring. Devon never knew their father, th though their mother spoke of him often, saying he would come and pull them out of this life of poverty. He's a noble and a man of means. Devon's fuel for adventuring can take many forms here. Do they quest for revenge to kill their father for the loss of their mother? Or do they accept their mother's loss and finding out their father's the noble, yet through adventures try to win his attention and favor? So many options are presented for you here to take. As a character can be great, rich, and deep, and doesn't have to be overly complex with their motivations. You will want to play Devon's rage and anger, but Devon is cool and calm. They started by becoming a thief to survive. Did they join up with a crew? Did they join a thieves' guild in Waterdeep? Maybe Xanathar's or Xanthirium. Did either one of her do her wrong in the past? Does these guilds have a mark on her life? Did she steal something that she shouldn't have and they're after her? These are all great things for the DM to work with and give you reasons to, again, more adventure and get out of Waterdeep. Or better yet, have allies and friends that can help you defend yourself better. Even the simplest characters, like a thief rogue, can be something amazing if you put a little effort into it. Now, how to present this to your DM? I know myself, I don't like long backstories. I just need the details to work with. When you present to your DM, if they ask for a backstory, do a simple bullet points on the page. If they have questions, I'm sure they will ask and take notes. But it doesn't need to be a long novel. There's nothing stopping you from writing Devin's backstory. By all means, go ham on it. But this will help you get to know your character better when able to RP them better at the table. Not just Devin, but any character you put depth into. The biggest thing I can say is don't go too tragic in your backstory. Being a heavily damaged at the start makes role-playing a very rough thing. Not just on you, but on the rest of the party. This can go for any tabletop RPG, not just Dungeons & Dragons. It's up to the Dungeon Master to create the drama and emotional turmoil in your characters. Combined with a very tragic backstory, this can take a wind out of your sails and having going to the table every week for a character just taking an emotional toll that you really can't get into. My advice is try to avoid it but if you do the best of luck so to sum this all up do a little research it helps immerse your character more in the world leave things vague but not too vague just make sure that your dm has something to work with on their end for the game try not to go shakespeare levels of tragedy this can drag your dm and the party down and when you give it to your dm give it to in a simple bullet point unless they ask for more well, that's my advice for doing backstories in Dungeons and & Dragons and all other tabletop RPGs. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, give a like and a sub, and I'm go live every Saturday night with my weekly game. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.